Welcome to uh, Mary Crescent Micro Wetland. One of the things that's really important when we think about uh, parks and gardens is how we start to create them to be climate change resilient and water wise. So the traditional parks and gardens park in local government would be all grass with some bollards around the edge and maybe occasionally a playground in it. Mary Crescent used to be a wetland and has been developed in some different ways. But one of the problems was is that a compensating basin was placed right in this spot here. So it had grass just down to the compensating basin and it was reticulated grass and that's it. So what we wanna do when we're thinking about parks and gardens and creating uh, water-wise uh, climate change resilient parks is to think about how else can we use them. So for this site, we reimagined the park and thought maybe that this basin here could become a micro wetland and maybe we could plant lots of habitat around it so that we can have more homes for things like uh, the frogs that are here, the moaning frogs and the banjo frogs, and maybe even some really interesting birds like the rainbow bee eater. We then went on a bit further and we worked with the local community group to realise that maybe we can create an opportunity for people to walk around this wetland as well and interact with it. So what we've started to do is change a traditional grass, parks and gardens area to a place that provides some biodiversity by building the new micro wetland here, better water quality, and also just a more interesting place to be around as well.